Festival's later? It starts on later? the 10th. But okay, when yeah. You're that's why in, we, it's like screenings yeah. and, you know, right. nuttiness. So, uh, yeah, crazy. Well, first off, personally, as a mom, I, well, I want to thank you so much for the laughter <laughs> you brought my all. family. My God. Oh, thank my you. My kids were ecstatic when I told them that I was going to be meeting you. So, oh, cool. thank you for everything. I appreciate oh, that. You're welcome. Um, this is so hilarious. And I want to ask you, do you have like a special place in your heart for extract or what's the deal here? Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it came from a kind of a few places. Well, mainly, um, in Austin, Texas, it used to be when you're driving to San Antonio, there was this, the old Adams Extract Factory, which was actually still running now, it's in a different town, but it's just this great old classic American factory building that was off to the right. And um, I was with my, I always just wanted to go in there and see what it's like inside. I eventually did take a tour. Um, <laughs> I've always been a little interested in food flavoring, oddly enough. Okay, uh, well, what's your favorite flavor then? Uh, vanilla, Yeah, probably. it's a standard, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. And uh, any kind of artificial cream soda that's blue. Is, oh. I think artificial flavor is best when it's not trying to imitate a real flavor. Yeah. I think like uh, that's why the blue Slurpees and stuff like that they are work. always good. They yeah. totally work. Now, I have to ask you, working with this phenomenal cast, hilarious, I mean, one funnier than the next, how do you keep a straight face? Well, luckily, I'm, I'm usually like off to the side where the sound can't hear me. And if I'm, <laughs> if I'm laughing, uh, it'll be okay. Um, you know, I, sometimes it's, it's weird. Like, I'm glad that, for example, like Office Space, I'm glad people came to like that movie because there was a while when I'd be doing rehearsals with, uh, Gary Cole who played Lumberg and Steven Root or Ron Livingston doing those scenes and, and I'd be laughing and no one else would be. <laughs> and I thought, man, I think I'm just making this movie that me and my brother and a couple friends are going to like. And meanwhile, Fox sure is spending $10 million on it. And <laughs> but luckily it became other yeah. people liked it. Yeah, so hit. I mean, it's fantastic. I'm, yeah. I'm always, I, I'm I'm uh, not afraid to, to laugh when it's, uh, as long as it doesn't bleed into the sound. Now, do you have an obnoxious neighbor like Nathan? Because, oh my God, David Peckner was hilarious. Oh, yeah, I... <laughs> <laughs> I, I did. I mean, I've had a, I've had a few, and then just, just people in general. But there was one neighbor, when um, it was my, my ex-wife and I had this house out here in, in this gated thing by the beach, and there's only one way out. And there was this woman who would just park herself in the window of your car and start talking. And I swear, she single-handedly brought down the property value several million dollars because I was just like, I, I want to move out of here because yeah. of this woman. Like yeah. I can't. It's like I can't deal with it. And um, eventually did move out, but, <laughs> but uh, and it's all her yeah. fault. <laughs> now I have to ask you because of course you've got the the most famous voice ever. And do a lot of friends and relatives ask you to leave voicemails on their machines and things like that? Um, it hasn't <laughs> happened in a while. Well, it happened a couple of days ago, but um, <laughs> yeah, I do. With Hank? Uh, it was Hank. Yeah. yeah, I I do I do get that occasionally. Yeah, sometimes. Um, Sometimes it'll be like in a mall or something, and and I'll have to be sitting there going, uh, Brian is not home right now. And, yeah. <laughs> and then people look, and it's... Yeah. Yeah. Who is this guy? <laughs> yeah. now, quickly, I have to ask, because I asked Mila this, but have you ever thought about doing a Beavis and Butthead meets the family guy? Because I think Beavis, Beavis and Butthead oh. could both date Meg, don't you think? Oh, now see, that would be pretty fun. Mm. I just did a, I did a voice on Family Guy recently, and... Uh, uh, that's hey, that's a good idea. Okay, we'll talk. <laughs> uh, my yeah. people will talk to your people. Now that I've given you, you know, I want some coin for that. Yeah, that's a show where they could actually walk in and it'd probably be okay. And I think so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations on this. A pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much and best Thank of luck you. with it. Likewise. Thank you. Take care. Thanks, guys. Thank that you. really is a good idea. There you go. I think old Meg would have.